Do you know what people like Alex Amosi, Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett, and Elon Musk all have in common? And it's not just a sickening work ethic or big egos or something to prove, it's leverage. They all focus on leverage. But what exactly is leverage and what does it look like in practice? Contrary to what most people think, working hard will not determine how successful you'll be. See, if you're an agency owner, you might be working 14 hours a day, trying to give everything to your clients and they're completely ruling your life. Even worse, they'll leave after a couple of months and you'll be having to chase new ones, begging for referrals, trying to get new people through the door. And that uncomfortable feeling that you might not want to admit you get, but that kind of dread, doubt, worry if you're gonna be successful and knowing you're not really being paid what you want or you deserve. And that resentment starts to build because you've sacrificed good times with your family, relationships going out, maybe even your health. And the things that you've enjoyed in the past, you've postponed to the future, to when you're successful. All to make this work for the client, but you actually really need to make it work for your success. And they don't really care about your success as much as you do. And you don't care about their success as much as they do. So you're left with a lose-lose situation, but there is hope. One of the growth partners who we work with just a few years ago, he was managing 30 clients for like 5k per month and still working incredibly hard. And just with a simple tweak, he's now working with six clients making over $40,000 a month. And he's only working four days per week. He only works about four hours per day on those weeks. So how did he do that? He needed the clarity on what business model had the most leverage. So in order to answer that, we first need to understand what business models that you can use as a marketing agency owner, which have the most leverage and which will work best for you. Let's dig into the raw comparison of SMMA. SMMA is easy to start and to get going because the ticket size is so small, you can basically sell to anyone and they're not locked in. So it's easy for a client to say yes to a test and you've got such a large market because the price point you can sell to small to medium sized business is basically one man bands. So even if you're not good at sales and marketing and you don't have a good offer, sometimes even a blind squirrel can find nuts. Nothing worth doing is easy and if it was easy, everyone would be doing it and that's why everyone tends to start down the SMMA and then the market gets saturated very, very quickly and the retainers are squeezed down smaller than what they already are and you're often forced to work with clients just for money who you don't enjoy working with and they're not really good clients so the relationship isn't great, you don't feel great about serving them. It's not great, it's, it's really not great. And often you don't get incentivized for the success of their business unless you opt for the pay for performance model. And these are much easier to close and your success is tied into results so you can get good upside but that's very hard at the start because there's not many clients out there who are great. So it's a, it's high risk, high reward. And when you close deals, you're not actually making any direct money. And for most clients, they won't really be bought in the process because they haven't invested in their success. And because getting results and not just, you know, improving artificial metrics, actually getting cash in the bank requires a hell of a lot of work from you and your client. And that's very hard to do at the start, especially if you're not getting paid. This will attract the worst type of clients. Another option for this is a build and release model where you kind of build everything for them and then hand it to the client and let them use it. It's kind of a project-based approach. You will secure a lot of cash up front and one deal you could get anywhere from 15K, 30K, 50K. And you can charge more so you can get higher margins and you can get clients quickly on this because they can see that they're only paying you for specific deliverables for a specific amount of time. And there is a fair bit of demand for this model, but this can be challenging to close if you don't have case studies and you're gonna keep having to bring on clients. And it's very hard to get case studies because you're only working with them for a short period of time. And an average typical B2B sale is going to take 80 days. So you're gonna to have to continuously cycle and cycle this model to make this work. It's more challenging to build a team if this is the first offer. This is a really nice offer, but you don't really get the upside. You don't get the recurring revenue. You don't get the case studies. So I would say that this is a good offer but probably for your second or third offer whilst running a service-based business because you will not know exactly what it takes for them to get results at the start and this kind of done with you model setup isn't going to be the place to start. 
the main reason they don't get the results is the clients don't have the people or the skill set that's required to actually use the systems that you build for them. And they know that. So they'd much rather hire someone that has the skill set, maybe consult them and teach them some of the things they need to know. But that's this hard at the start. So done for you model is definitely easier. All right, so what if you wanted to just do more the consultant side? Well, you don't do the work, so you can have a lot of free time. You can bring on multiple clients and it's a pretty high leveraged model, but you need to understand the nuances. It can be very profitable because there are no costs for startup and you're not as accountable maybe for the results and the guarantee, but you do need to be giving excellent advice that is leveraging their business. Most people at the start, they don't have the expertise to do this. It's much harder to sell because you're basically telling them what to do. And the biggest problem in businesses is they don't actually have the people to do it. And if you do not set the structure and the model up right in consulting, it's kind of like being a high paid employee. You know, a lot of consultants never actually build a business out of it. So they don't build the asset alongside making the money. It can be good money, but it's more challenging to build into a business. SMMA startup costs. Easy to get started, no capital, and it's easy-ish to get clients but the market gets very saturated and you don't get very good case studies and the clients aren't very satisfied. Clients aren't locked in, so it's easier to start test projects. Clients use the services out of necessity, but the potential for poor relationships and earning potential is significantly low. You don't get great retainers, so it's hard to build a good team because the profit margins are so small. The upside is significantly limited due to the scale and the dissatisfaction by the client, which is a risk and everyone else is doing it. So the competition's so high and you're gonna have to work with people who you don't like to work with. But there's no need to be exceptionally skilled in sales and marketing. So performance deals, no startup costs, easy to close client deals. The client is gonna have a probably less pressure on you maybe because they're not as committed because they haven't paid you anything. But you have to get exceptional results to even get paid. This is gonna put a huge amount of pressure on your business at the start and it's often you haven't figured out what it takes to get results yet. So if you have no cash coming in, you're going to feel pressure. And yet again, to track the lowest type of clients and you're going to have significant difficulty in achieving the results. And it's not just your market and efforts that's needed. They're going to have to be very good as well. So your success is heavily depending on the client. You will focus on delivering results because that's what you have to do. For the project-based approach, it's definitely going to be more challenging to close the deals, but you are going to get good upfront cash for these deals and you're going to have the potential to upsell. But this is going to be hard to get going at the start, especially without killer case studies. So if you don't have case studies, it's going to be challenging to start here. And it's very hard to get those case studies if you're just doing a build and release because you're not actually working with them a long enough time to get results, which yet again is limiting your growth for the future. And it can be a bit of a feast or famine model. You know, you might hit a trend where you can make a lot of money in a short amount of time, but you need a massive amount of evidence and expertise to close deals and be effective. So this is not the place to start. See, each of these models, you can make money, but the model is imperfect. I'm not gonna get into explaining the downside of crypto, e-com, or OnlyFans. I'll let you work those out for yourself. But if you're looking at using any of these models to make money and you're happy with where you are, I'm happy for you. But for most, that's not the case. We're always looking to improve, always looking to see how we can get the edge. And you may be struggling to make the money that you want in order to acquire that freedom that you've been wanting, but you've been stuck in this business model that hasn't been really giving you what you want. So if that's you, it's not your fault. What's missing? These modern business models have been pushed by hundreds of agency gurus who've made a bit of money in the past. This is previous of how things were done. And what they all have in common is no real experience in business, okay? They've ran a small agency and sold an info product. They get to 50, 100K a month and they position themselves as a world-class business expert because they're spending all their money on things to increase their status and lifestyle, okay? So spending like 98% of their income trying to look like James Bond on Instagram. 
it's hard to say the reality to and it's very easy to buy into. I've worked with a lot of agencies and myself in my previous business, which was an ed tech business, you know, it's majority B2B, partnership sales, not none of this online stuff. And I've seen a lot of SMMAs were not great because they were charging too little, they weren't serious enough, or they were just doing like PR or sales as a service, but they didn't really know us, they didn't understand us. And as a business owner, we were not confident that they could deliver what we need because they didn't really understand us so that the messaging was just off it. And for one-time setups, it was just so expensive for something that wasn't guaranteed. We'd rather just hire someone experienced that we could work with them for a few months and they could actually do the work. And consultants, they, they never actually did the work. So whenever we did hire a consultant, it would be specific for a subject and then they would do a small part and then they would be off boarded and none of them really made a massive amount of money and we grew a pretty successful business to 10 million a year. So what model sets you free from working with tons of clients, only making you know, 5K a month with having to work with loads of clients to making over 20, 30, 50K a month with only working with a couple? And that's the growth partner model. And with it, it allows you to keep your clients for at least a year so you can get a great case study allows you to charge high retainers, five, 15K a month. It also allows you to get a performance fee on top of that and be a trusted advisor to the CEO so the clients actually respect you. To best explain it, let's imagine that business owners are kings and these kings are constantly under pressure, scrutiny, scrutiny from people in there. In other words, they're their shareholders, their team members, their clients, and they have to make critical decisions in the best interest of their business every single day. And if there's riots in the streets and if they're facing attack from another kingdom or they need to raise their taxes or need to get rid of some people, they need to get advice from someone who they trust, someone who they have confidence in. It's a pretty lonely journey being a CEO. It can be a lonely journey. And that's where you come in. The royal advisor working in collaboration with them. So if they need help, they'll know to come to you and they'll know they need you or otherwise it could cost them their life or their kingdom and luckily clients don't need to fear for their lives right that's a bit extreme but this bond that you create is a unique advantage because you develop a close and honest relationship with them and you're the only person that they can lean on when shit hits the fan and the person that they can drop the mask with and just be honest with so your advantage is your relationship with them and because you're someone that they can trust they stop comparing you to every single other agency out there and you get paid more for longer. Because let's face it, there are others out there who can deliver the same services as you. You and your personality are the unique mechanism and that's the unique mechanism that makes you last in, not just last, thrive in the toughest conditions in the market, but also gets you paid the most in any market conditions. So you're hired for what you do, but you're kept for how you think. So what this all means is you partner with the business owners and you look at their business from a much more holistic view and you have more control and influence across the whole business, not just your service. And you can adapt the pricing, the positioning, the offering, the message in the funnel, the marketing and the sales process to make your clients more money. So you have all these little things that you can influence to raise the game. And this works with any kind of core service like advertising, cold email, organic marketing content, email marketing, and it works in any industry as long as the clients have a bit of money because you use a hybrid model that's core services and consultancy. When you impact all of these things, if you can improve each part by 20%, it's not a 20% increase, it can be a 2 100% increase, making your clients more money and making you more money and impossible to replace. And this creates a single point of failure within the client's business. So even if someone come offering the exact same thing that you do, it would be a great risk for them to even think about leaving you. And that's why they stay with you for years. You can basically charge what you want as long as you're bringing value. You can charge 10K per month and take a 10% revenue share. And these clients will be happy to sign 12 month contract. My first client didn't want to sign a 12 month contract. He wanted to sign an 18 month contract because we were planning to help them for the long term and he wanted to make with, work with me for the long term. He wanted me committed for the long term. And that means you have one client that can pay you over six figures a year. Then you just keep bringing on a new client every single month. Work with them over a 12 month period, help them find that market message resonance and 
work with someone who has product market fix, it's gonna be a lot easier. You help them generate demand and ultimately help them get a return on investment as quickly as you can. And here's an insider secret too. Every time a client gets a quantifiable result, you use that insight with the other clients and help them get better results. So it's like a flywheel effect to success. And to share the wealth, so to speak, let's continue on what you experience with your clients and you're generating massive results since you're firing on all cylinders. Bottom line, you get paid. Money in the bank. See, the profit margins here are insane. So you can use that guaranteed money coming in every single month to reinvest in your team who will handle all of the fulfillment for you which means you can spend less time focused in the weeds with the clients, which gives you extra time on focusing on selecting and bringing on new similar clients and building the relationship. And now you just copy the angles, the delivery mechanism, and the proven model that you know works with client one, and copy and paste it into the new client, and you'll deliver results even quicker for them. This way you save countless of hours trying to figure everything out from scratch because you're working with similar people. And the best part is they get quicker return on investment. So you get paid faster and you get paid more and you'll get to work with better partners as you get better case studies. And if that's not all, there's a secret element to this. Think about it. You're gaining all of these insights learning and gathering across all the clients. Wouldn't it be just a waste of time to keep this all in your head? That's why you add this into what you provide your clients. And that's the part that we call the consultancy element of your offer. So you're not just fixed on delivering, for example, cold email services. You do this to increase the value to your partners and position yourself as the expert, and they will hate to lose you because they're relying on you for the cutting edge information. And this reduces the amount of core services that you have to deliver to new clients, which reduces the complexity in your business because your offer becomes like a 50-50. Again, this reduces the fulfillment complexity in the offer because it becomes a 50-50. They're done for you and the consultancy element. And this makes it much simpler to deliver results for new clients because your offer is shared. And you might be thinking, okay, well, I don't have enough experience to do this. I can't become a growth partner yet. Or why would these 50-year-old business owners listen to a 20-year-old me? We got all of these questions all of the time. I'm gonna be honest with you. People like Steven, Sven, Wesley, Ben, Luke, Mauricio, Delano, Ismail, Alejandro, Andrew are all newer to the game. Some even started with no experience. They're all proof that business owners will listen to you if you understand these things. 99% of business owners do not know the first thing about marketing. They're stuck in a different era. And just by watching a few of the right videos, you're gonna know more about marketing than their entire marketing department that have degrees, qualifications. The owners of these businesses have lots of money, but no time to implement what's needed. Everyone who knows the info of what we are about to share has already made a ton of money and created leverage so they don't have to deliver done for you services anymore. They're leveraging their skill set again. Then getting results for any business is pretty straightforward and it's based on a simple formula. And we have this formula and we've shared it with all of our growth partners. It's based on the theory of constraints that allows you to see which part of the business you should focus on and remove that constraint so the business grows. And our goal is to teach you all of the skills that you need to close your first growth partner deal and be able to confidently deliver results. Follow our process and put in the work and the results for the clients will take care of themselves. So now that you know that, you have to dive into the model, let's dive deeper in what you're going to offer. There are three key offers that work time and time again, and the best thing is they are in demand and profitable right now. So watch this video here where we break it down.